Well, guilty. Not a power hack yet. Now I'll go in the arm pit. Sweat goes like, now look. As you're burning, how to turn somebody. You, you got to think about what's a referee going to see and how do I keep it from stopping, right? So many times in practice, we grab a hold of arms, we just rip them off, we wrestle the best kid in the club, you think you're breaking your shoulder, but you turn it, you're like, yeah, I turned it. Well, what would have happened in a real match? They stopped it, right? And then you say, oh, the he should have stopped it. I wish you would have stopped it. I wish you would have stopped it, you should have stopped it, because you didn't stop the practice or whatever. You're playing the referee, well, you were just taking some time and learn to focus on figuring out how to give the referee what he wants to see and convert it. Then you're going to get that turn every time, right? There's something to think about, okay? Not ripping people's arms off and, and you focus on turning people and keeping everything in line so that the referee cannot stop it. And so guillotine, you know, I split his legs, two hands attack, pull the arm up, right hand slap to the mat, I'm going to put his arm over my head. Now here, I, my head's up, and my belt buckle still is back, and I'm going to dig my toes, and I'm going to walk my hand forward. Still flat. And I want to get it flat. Everybody see that? I want it flat before I turn it. Once I get it flat, I'm just going to start walking my arm around his head. Here, notice I'm trying to keep the shoulder all in one line. I'm trying to keep everything in one line. Start walking, lean it back. Once I start hearing that referee count, I'm going to lock my hands, keep my toe hook if I can, use my left foot as a drive foot to hold myself up. If my toe hook comes out, I go to a figure four. So when it comes out, I kick towards the crotch, step over it, so it goes to the mat. If you can keep that toe hook, that's the best. Okay. Do that again. Okay, so. okay. Big. Down. Okay, so he's gonna set his leg. Good. He's in great position. Make sure you're watching that so you know how you did that. Pull that arm up, stick it over your head, slap the mat with your free hand. You don't want him down yet. You want to hold him up. You're replacing his hand with yours. Head up, hips in. I'm going to dig my toes. I'm going to start walking it forward. Drive foot, arch, walk it forward. Once I get it flat, I'm just going to start to walk. As I start moving my arm, what happens to his shoulder? It stays in a line, right? That's huge. If I just start to turn it and I don't try to lift him, what happens to his shoulder now? He's fine, but what's the referee going to do, especially at 10 years old? They stop it every time. Okay? So as I start to lean back, I start walking my hand towards it. Once I can hook his head, I hook it, lock my hands. Once I hear it, I've done Once I hear that referee count, I can lock my hands. If my toe hook comes out, I go to that figure four. If I can keep my toe hook, that's the best for transitions. Try to keep that toe hook, okay? 